What's going on, YouTube and Sinjin Nation? Welcome to. Wait. This isn't budget build off. Uh, it's a Tuesday. Huh. Well, as I stated, you know, yesterday, uh, we are celebrating five years of Sinjin Omega, and we are going back in time to YGO Pro Duels. But went on EDL Pro. <laughs> uh, this week, I am actually bringing a revisit to the very first deck that I played on this channel, Pacifist. Uh, now, I just realized that I forgot to edit <laughs> something here. It's an easy fix. Uh, I think that's what I put. Yeah. Oh, I put another Wonder and Griffin Rod in there. Oh, well. Anyways, so we're back on Pacifist. And I figured what better way to actually bring it to a new era than to throw in the main thing that pretty much everybody puts in everything, the Adventure Engine. Uh, funny enough, uh, in my opinion, the Adventure Engine with... Phantasm and Pacifist and stuff is, is kind of wild because the beauty of the fact is that this token is a normal monster. Yeah, that's all you need to know. <laughs> but guys, as always, we're doing five duels against five random opponents. Let's see if we can... I forgot what the record was for uh, Phantasm then, but let's just see if we can at least go three and two. I'll be happy with that. So I'll see y'all guys in the first duel. All right, guys, here we are in the first duel against Toyo. No idea. All right. I think we want to go first, actually, because this is a pretty nifty go first deck. Uh, we unfortunately did not draw pretty good, but let's kind of give him an idea already of what we are playing. I think we're going to banish a wind, Dick Nestor. I uh, know we want Nintus in our deck, one of these. And we'll banish a couple of them. Wait, I hit six. Oh, we already revealed we're playing the Adventure Engine. Um, well, uh, let's see here. I think we're just going to act get Journey of Destiny to our hand. Sort these on the bottom. We're just going to set, activate this. We are not able to actually use actual can so. Let's grab Aqua Mancer. We can actually pitch this uh, Spiral Dragon. Rhino Aramasu. We're going to activate it. Get our token. Unfortunately, we don't have our... Get Draco back, and we're going to equip it. And we're going to also set this and pass it to them. Pretty pretty nifty starting hand, I will say so myself. If we would have actually had pass fits, it would have been a lot better because then we could have actually, you know, got our Phantasm Spiral onto the field. We got this equipped with another normal, well, not really got the Phantasm Spiral on the field, but we could have actually equipped a, another one to actually get ready for our Phantasm. So, oh, we're going against, oh. I'm just writing down what we are going against so that once I'm editing, it makes it a lot easier to edit. It's a pretty good start, I will say so myself. <clears throat> So I'm thinking, okay, so you're going to add that back to your hand. You're going to normal summon it. Uh, during your... Um, let's see here. Hmm. 
I will say yes, I guess. Uh, if you don't want control, you can special summon this card from your hand. Then, if your opponent controls any monsters, special summon. So, I'm actually not worried about this. Are you making the reptilian synchro? You are, in fact, not making that. Well, unfortunately for you, I can go Phantasm Spiral Power and negate that. This also lets me uh, punishment into Nintus and pop his board easier. So we have that going for us. Point of mystery. Okay, so you are special summon a monster from your extra deck. What are you doing? This card is special summon. You can discard a card, add one field spell. Okay. Right now, kind of what we are going against. I. Another card you control will be destroyed by card effect and you this card from your control instead. Okay. Okay, well, I am not worried about that because I don't. I mean, it doesn't really matter that the effects are negated because, well, guess what? I'm just summoning a normal monster anyway, so. I'm going to go ahead and fire this off because it uh, doesn't really, I mean, it does matter what I target. Um, Because he can just bring this back. So I think I'm going to target this. And I'm going to send Nentis. And I'm going to just pop this. Because we can deal with uh, Chaos Ruler next turn, but he's obviously doing that, so... Okay then, well, um, this leaves me in a bit of a burn, you see? Because he can use this effect to send this to the graveyard, so... Or, actually, you can't, because it sins, right? Huh, I don't think the token will go away then, so I have that going for me at least. Okay, you are not doing anything. It works for me. Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and activate Journey of Destiny. We are going to grab Wandering Griffin Rider. And we're going to send this copy of Phantasm to the graveyard. We are going to activate our Wandering Griffin Rider to special summon it. That is fine because, well, I still get the special summon because I did activate it. So, 
Unfortunately now, I can activate this still and equip it to Phantasm. So that way I can still do this to... Do I bounce this back though? Or... I mean, you just activate that next turn, but I would much rather... Well, I guess we'll just normal summon and like heavily try to go in for game. Not really go for game, but we will leave him really low on life points nonetheless. So and hope he doesn't top deck anything that can the unfortunate side of things of this though is we can't we don't have our negate with griffin rider so oh water lily Ew. man having skill drain right now would have been great well we are about to lose our board lovely We are definitely about to lose our board now because he is coming back. I'm not trying to. I'm trying to see why he vanished. It's kind of what you get when you're playing a deck that sort of, for better lack of terms, just negates stuff. So, yeah. I just realized he didn't have his draw phase, or wasn't supposed to. That is game, actually. Oh, but no, it's not. Well, it's still game because. Yep. That was a loss. So let's get into game two then. And here we are in the second duel against, I'm not trying to pronounce that name. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here. Let's do, oh, that's a beautiful start in hand. And we're going second. Numeron OTK, more than likely. Wow. Well, uh... No, I'm not going to do anything, because... What can you do to me, sire? Other than summon a bunch of monsters and not have a comeback for it, so... <laughs> four, one... Oh, you, you did it out of order, dude. You should have went four to one, or one to four, however you want to do it. Curse Bamboo Sword. What are you doing? Am I about to get Exodiad? That's the only thing I can think of is that I'm going to probably get Exodiad here. Because why else would you be playing draw cards? I'm not getting Exodiad. I'm probably still getting Exodiad. Because now you get to draw four. You get a search. You know, I could go ahead and summon one of these just to have it. Oh, Lordy, you have another golden bamboo sword in hand, don't you? I don't want to summon these just in case he has something that can get rid of them, but... He does have another. I'm about to get Exodia, ain't I? 
This is why we can't have nice things in YouTube. <laughs> We're too fast. <laughs> yep. At least that's at one, so we don't have to worry about three of those. There's an allure. So what are you banishing? Cyber Orbors. Makes sense. Yeah, it's definitely Exodia. Well, New Mon Roll, there's that. Wow. One day of peace. Well, go ahead. Do your worst. Because you're going to have to discard everything anyway, so. Another allure, so you're about to banish that. Did he just set Golden Bamboo Sword? He must not be playing Exodia then, or he might be. Because he has to discard everything anyway, so. I mean, I can just set these anyway, so. He is not playing Exodia, so. However, I think I can win from this. Possibly? Because I know this is Dawn Thales, and this is Golden Bamboo Sword. I don't know what that is. What was his other card? Curse Bamboo. So, I know this is Numeron Network. So, I can just do this. I'll be going off to the races here, so. I'm just going to set a couple, but then activate this one, so that way it's more of a... So, we'll get our token. Activate Faithful Adventure. We will grab a Wandering Griffin Rider. And we will be pitching. At this point, I really don't know what's revealed in my hand. Uh, hmm. You know, I could... Some, no, I don't want to do that because... Uh, what do I banish? Or what do I discard from this? I guess we'll just discard a Wondering Griffin Rider right? because we already have one in hand. So... You ready? Uh... We're not going to do any of that. We're going to go ahead and add, you know what, we're just going to equip it. Go ahead and activate this. We're going to bounce. I mean, we're under one day of peace anyways. He has two of these set. He can only activate one. So we're just going to bounce this. Even though he can like do shenanigans next turn, but we don't have to worry about shenanigans anyways. I'm going to activate this. Clip that. So I think we already have everything. Yeah, we can just normal summon now. Unfortunately, we would have game if he didn't one day piece us. So. <laughs> mm. 
Okay. This is a quick effect. So the beauty of this is that he's blind alluring. Well, we win. That counts. <laughs> That <laughs> counts as a win. I don't care. So we'll see you guys in the third duel. All right, guys, here we are in the third duel against Going Extinct. Something tells me he's playing dinos. Uh, I was not actually finding anybody in the uh, East one. So I, or, you know, the U.S. East casual. So I ended up having to go to EU Central. So yay, we were actually playing against Europeans probably because you can't find a duel on here at 2.30 in the afternoon on a Monday. <laughs> uh, we got a pretty good starting hand, by the way. Uh, like a real good starting hand. We can get a negate with Wondering Griffin Rider. We have a Phantasm, we have Skill Drain. We can dump this Phantasm Spiral into the graveyard. We'll get our Griffin Rider. Summon Griffin Rider. Get our Mr. Steed here. I find it funny that I've yet to use like the adventure or the phantasm stuff that this has all been uh <laughs> adventure engine. Like I've yet to draw a pacifist. Like all I've done is just drawn my adventure engine in like these last three duels. So hopefully we're playing against something that's a little Sometimes we're playing as Eldritch, because only Eldritch sets five back row. But I can play through five back row, I do believe. We are just going to normal summon you. Mm, let me see here a second. Yeah, let's just try to go in, because... Like I said, I think we're playing against Eldritch. Oh, no, we are not. Dynamorphia. So let me see here a second, man. Uh, I'm honestly... You know what? I think we do negate this. Because. Got that anyways. That is fine. Because we have Spiral Battle, so. And we got Skill Drain as well. I should have just activate skill drain just right off the top. Oh. Hmm. I don't think we activate skill drain because. What we do to this though. And then if he activate, activates this effect, we skill drain it. I 
Ja. Oh. So he's negating the skill drain. Okay then. I want to go ahead and do this just uh I don't know why I did that, but oh well. Pretty certain I got game on board. I still got game, but I kind of want to play around what he's got. So I think the play here is to actually add an illegal knight. Because then I can just crash it. Oh, my turn. Sorry. <laughs> um, or I can get Griffin Rider. This is the only issue. Hmm. But this just puts him on a better clock, so... Because I can crash... Wow. Um, okay. Well, then I just do this and bounce this. He's got that. Hmm. So what I can do then is go... That's once per turn. Not short bounce. We can crash, essentially. I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of this just because get to some of the other one, but you can only do the effect once per turn anyway, so I'm not worried about it. We do, however, get our phantasm spiral dragon to the hand, so it's good to finally kind of get these going a little bit. <clears throat> This one summons from the graveyard, so he doesn't get the search, though, at least. I 
Oh, this one's different. No, that ain't, never mind. He's always summoned it. So, you know, main phase two, we do activate the effect of Spiral Wave. Get a Spiral Dragon from the deck. It equips to it. And we pass it on to him. It would have been great to have a legal knight because we could have uh, won that from there because he couldn't have done that and whatever this back row was. But he had the read, so it happens. Okie dokie. So this actually does a lot better than I thought it was because of the fact that it actually adds more protection to my Spiral Dragon. So I saw that coming. I am going to go ahead and special summon this. Because now we can pretty much work around anything that he summons. Oh. So you're deciding to summon him. That's fine. I am not worried about this, so... <laughs> So what we can do is we can use the legal knight anyways once we see that he's about to go out of the main phase some we should summon it in defense though give him control of it you know what? let's just go ahead and do this because i don't want to deal with anything target two cards he controls return them to the hand so we'll just do that because this won't resolve then Take my illegal knight. I was wrong, it does resolve. <laughs> well, I should have did. Oh, that was still a quick effect, anyways, so. <laughs> Oh, okay. I think we still win from this point no matter what, because no matter what he does, we can just attack over this. Unless he decides to crash any of our stuff, but But this right here doesn't it's not destroyed anyways because of Journey to Destiny. Journey to Destiny, yeah. So he opts not to attack anything else, which is might be good. So we know that we, he's got Frenzy set. Um, I think we are, we should do this to be safe. Uh, I think we get Griffin Rider here. 
and then we pitch this that way we don't have to worry about anything and we can just special griffin rider grave digger trap holes again hmm do i just hard normal some no because now you know what we just go battle we're just going straight into battle phase he goes frenzy pays 62 life points goes down to 63. oh my atlanta that's hilarious he's going to summon the big boy he summons that hmm It's got 39, 37. I still go battle phase because what am I worried about here? Nothing? He's 31 now. Takes himself down to 32. Oh. Okay, then. I forgot to do the bouncing of Draco back. Hmm. I could have done the bouncing effect of Drago back right then. Oops. <laughs> hmm. I don't get out of this. I didn't search. I guess we just go on the defense here. Because you can't get over this, so. We just hope we draw an out, so. I'm not, I'm doing my best to try to win, so. We need to be careful if that's a uh, Grey Deer's Grey Deer's track hole, though. So he's down to sixteen life points. If he banishes anything that can, oh, that's another fusion summon. We are protected from battle twice, though. Once with a uh, spiral wave, and then once with Journey of Destiny. So. So, we don't have to worry. I think he thinks that he's got game, even though he can't get past my uh, spiral waves. It's going to take another one, buddy. So, Journey of Destiny will activate now. Wait, what? They both activate at the same time? Dang it. That's a load of BS. Well, we are still in it, but barely, though. I could have swore I would have been protected from that, but hindsight's twenty twenty, I guess. Okay. We're down to a thousand. He's at sixteen. We can literally sneeze on him to win. Oh, never mind. 
I'm just going to try to go ahead and do this just to see if I can bait it out. And, yep, there's the final one. So, yep. Well, that is a loss. It happens. We got outplayed. Well, but uh, that's the midpoint. We got two duels left. So, I'll see you guys in the fourth duel. So, this is the third take on trying to get duel four because the first duel that I tried to have, I literally activated two cars the guy skipped. So, I was like, I ain't counting that. The second duel, I had a brown out. So, and by brown, I mean my power went out, y'all, and I had to wait for the internet to come back on. So, hopefully, we actually are able to finish this out. So, I'm going to go. But it's kind of funny, though. Like I said, I'm not going to leave it in, but that uh, that first fourth of duel, which would not have actually probably finished because of the brown out, I ended up activating... Pacifist and Rider Aramisu, and he basically scooped. So, I'm going to pitch this copy of Enchantress just to have it in the graveyard for later. Going to Special Summon Wandering Griffin Rider to have the negate. I'm going to activate Destiny. We're not going to do that. We are going to equip this Draco back. And then we're just going to normal summon out Megalomaster X because we can play that. We got uh, Enchantress in the graveyard for our follow-up plays next turn. Or just so we can have an adventure token on the field. So my man's out here gold sarking. What are you gold sarking, my dude? Lovely. Branded. Not branded, but... uh. If this card's banned, you can add one Fallen Outbass. So we're going against... Outbass. Lovely! I love this deck. Sarcasm. I did not want to do that. I did not want to do that. Hmm. That's fine. You can just... What? Okay. We are luring here. Luber. I don't think this is. Oh, brain infusion. Yes, we are definitely negating that. Because now we have Spiral Battle to help us. So, another freaking brain infusion. What's the odds of that? You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll let this go. Because he can use from the deck also. Should have set both of these, but hindsight's 2020, so. Fudge. See what we are dealing with here. I definitely should have set both of these now, but hindsight's twenty twenty, you know.
Yeah, we are definitely getting rid of this guy. That's fine. We have the pot crack back anyway, so. Just go ahead and activate all the prosperity. Make sure we actually hit six this time, because I know I did last time. Uh, get rid of Toad, Pegasus, these, this. There we go. Don't have Ash. We got that. Never mind. Okay, then. Hmm, I guess we'll get Pacifist? Yeah. Because we have Draco back in hand already. So... Doesn't really matter. We do play another one of these, which is good, so. No, no. What, what are you activating here? Oh, great. I gotta deal with this again. Well, I'm gonna go hack a big pacifist. Are you serious? You know what? You still activated an effect. I get a token. Guess what? That's not once per turn, though, but I still get this, so... Um, what is the bigger threat here? If I can just bounce this back, so... Get rid of this. I don't get... But you did activate an effect. I don't have a token, so... And now we just go Draco back. Bounce that back. She only take half because of prosperity. We get this now. We're not going to use this. We're going to actually wait for him to summon to do something. So, we're activating what? This one? That's the searcher, right? Yeah. What are you summoning?
Oh. Well then. I knew I should have bounced the... I knew I should have went ahead and done that. But hindsight's twenty twenty though. Now we can't activate anything in response to his fusion. Lovely. But funny enough, should he Oh my Lanta, dude. Do you not read? Oh, because I actually oh. You activate an effect. I get a token. Um, I should have played more of these instead of just the one. That's fine. No. Bring it opening again and get another one of those. Well, let's see if we prosper this time. We win. They surrendered, so it counts. I don't care. I don't know why they surrendered, but it counts. Because <laughs> I'm tired of trying to get this to go through. So I guess I'll see y'all in the fifth and final duel. And here we are in the last one against Harry Bob. We had some pretty good ones. We are two and two right now. So if we can bounce back with a win with this, I will be happy. I will be happy with what we have. Unfortunately, uh, we're going against Freifurter. Of course we are. Summoning Pupper. Pupper is really fun. Gets to uh, pretty much Stratos anything out of his deck. Gets Polly. So he already has the Edge Imp in his hand. Gets the Kraken. Kraken's pretty decent. But we got the Spiral Power, and we have a decent starting hand. If we can get at one of the adventure cards, we are off to the races. Let's just hope he doesn't make a Hope Arbinger, though. Which, actually, even if he makes a Hope Arbinger, I don't think I'm scared, so... But it kind of looks like that's what he's doing, so. Hmm. 
recover. What are you doing, dude? Because I know these boards sometimes like to end on Hope Harbinger, which actually he might be going into the... No, he's going to Cross Sheep. I wouldn't have thought he went was, would go into a Nateria Beast. There's the card. There is a card. Now, Nateria Beast? Yep, Nateria Beast. I knew it. I saw it coming from a mile away. Why would I know? There's the Hope Arbinger. I knew it was coming. So, we got Hope Arbinger here with heart earth um well hmm pretty much any spell i activate right now he's negating no answer so that's about that and unfortunately i don't have a normal monster to back myself up so we're just going to have to set to and pass it on to him because his hand sucks. Of course, you have something that can pop during my, your turn. Yep, I got nothing for this. You know what? It happens. We got outplayed there, but uh, it is what it is. So I will see y'all in the recaps. Well, here we are in the recap. Uh, I noticed when I left it like this. So I don't know if any of y'all did. I forgot the H and Phantasm. It's whatever. Uh, overall, this can actually build some pretty decent negate boards and kind of grind sessions. Uh, I should have been playing three of these, maybe because having basically Imperm in hand is great to have. The only issue is you can only control normal monsters and stuff. So in hindsight, there are some things I could have done with it, but revisiting it makes me feel happy and stuff. And, you know... Overall, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that I was able to at least withstand a couple things and such and probably go against one of the best decks and outgrind it and brand it as well, even though, you know, we did kind of, you know, not win five or three overall, but we lost. But hey, it is what it is. But reflecting on it now. I'm glad to have revisited the first deck that I actually went with YGO Pro duels and stuff. So, I guess until next time, y'all, peace out. Happy gaming. Sinjin out.